everyone, my name is Katie Carson. I am the Duchess of Suds here at Royalty Soaps and today we will be making a California poppy soap. California poppies are sort of an orangey yellow color. I know there's going to be a lot of people that are like, poppies are red. Not the California poppies. Seeing them in real life is on my bucket list and if you live in California and have gotten the pleasure of going to see those gorgeous orange fields, I'm so, I can't even talk, I'm so jealous. <laughs> All those little pretty flowers on top of this soap were hand piped using the Royalty Soaps Soap Frosting Club recipe and the Wilton 123 tip. I will leave you guys a link to the instructional tutorial that I followed. Obviously, it was for buttercream frosting and not for soap, but a lot of the tutorials used for piping cakes and desserts can be used for soap making as well. This is a very exclusive design. This is one of the ones that I am only making for camera. I'm only going to have 50 bars and they will be available to purchase on May 2nd, royaltysoaps.com, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So without further ado, let's make some California poppy soap. Before I blend up the first layer, so this is going to be the first half of the soap, I'm going to add in our colorants and a few special additives. I'm going to add in some black oxide. I'm going to add in some kaolin clay and coconut milk powder. And then I'm going to blend this up until everything is good and incorporated. Okay, and while I'm getting the lye water ready, I'm also going to add in my fragrance oil. Today I'm gonna to be using our Blood Moon fragrance. This is one of our top sellers in diamond soaps and we also have it available in perfume oils and body lotions. This has been sitting for about five minutes or so, so now I'm gonna pour in the lye water solution. I'm splitting this batch in half so that I have like complete control over it. Glub, glub, glub. And now it's time to blend. Let's pour the first layer. Just gonna slide it in. All right, just gonna pour all this in here. It's getting pretty thick. The soap is warm, but that's okay because this layer is textured. Now, because black oxide tends to thicken up a soap, if you know you have an all black layer or you're doing an all black soap, it's better just to add it straight to the oils because if your soap doesn't get blended in completely and you don't get on all the nooks and crannies because it's thickening up, you know for sure all of your batch will be Colored. Now using a spoon, I'm just going to texture this layer. I'm trying not to make it too spiky, but I do want there to be a lot of curves. I want the, I want the top layer to fill it all up real pretty. And if you're wondering why I'm using black, basically I wanted the color palette on the inside of the soap to be sort of 1970s Southern California reminiscent. So it's a little bit muted. There's this really cool khaki green that we're gonna put on the top. We're gonna do a yellow. It's just, it's gonna be fun. Just gonna tidy up these sides a little bit. Okay, first layer's done. Let's mix up the swirly second layer. Now to this batch, I have also added coconut milk and kaolin clay. I've also added some green oxide. Let's mix that up real quick. And now we'll add in our lye water solution. Glub, 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 glub. And we'll blend this in real quick. Awesome, we've got that base green done. I'm gonna pour off a little bit here. And to this container, I'm gonna add some green Vibrance Mica. And to this container, I'm gonna add some three olive martini. This is a yellow sort of olive green color. Let's blend those in. Let's add fragrance oil. This fragrance oil does accelerate, but to me it's worth it. Gonna do a quick in the pot swirl. Just 
dump all that in. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape off this bucket so we don't have to worry about it later on. And let's pour! Now I absolutely do not have to break the fall. That first layer is completely set up. I'm just gonna pour this across. Let it kind of bleed over. Glub, glub, glub. Now I'm gonna scrapey, scrapey out my little containy. This looks awesome, but wait till I show you the flowers. Da, 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 da. Here are all of my little orange poppies. I've placed them in here so I know basically how much I have to space them out. And I've had a lot of people ask me how much piping you have to make to put on top of the soap to like cover the whole thing. For a soap of this size, to make all those flowers, I used 16 ounces of oils for my royalty soap soap frosting recipe. Placing the rest of these on, let's go ahead and talk about the soap flowers and how we created them. I'm gonna insert some footage right now of me mixing up the soap frosting. So as you can see, mixing up all those colors really did help get like the perfect poppy color. I didn't measure anything, but you guys can see roughly how much I was pulling out of each container. And now I'll show you how I piped them. So there wasn't much of a rhyme or reason. I really was trying to use some of this time to experiment and see what I like as far as a poppy shape goes because they're very individual looking flowers. I found I preferred the more flat looking flowers instead of the one that had very defined petals. I just think those look more like poppies to me. But really, I just had so much fun experimenting and playing around with all the different types of frosting you could make with this tip, which is the Wilton 123 tip. It's got a fat part at the bottom and a skinny part at the top and that's what creates that lovely little ripple around the edge. Now, I love the way this soap looks on top and it's actually inspired me to make a red poppy soap. Maybe I'll make that for June or July. I could even put some real poppy seeds in the middle of those. That'd look really cool. Also, just wanna put a quick disclaimer out there before I bring you guys in for a close-up of this top. I am not the first person to make a poppy soap. Now, I don't know if I've seen anybody really do an orange poppy soap, but other people have certainly made these before. The first place I saw it done was years ago, and Emily of Shea Design Studio had a poppy soap that she did. I'm also pretty sure Handmade in Florida has done one. So yeah, I'm definitely not the first person to do it. I don't know who is the first person to do it, but because those particular creators did make me feel like I could actually do this, I wanted to thank them. And hey, you guys can go check out their stuff. I don't believe that Emily is actually making soap anymore, but Handmade in Florida certainly is, and I'll link her down below. I can't help but feel like this is the perfect addition to Flora Fantasy. It's just so warm and happy, and I love seeing so many handmade things on the top. So I'm gonna let this sit for 18 to 24 hours, and then we'll come back and we will have to split this slab into loaves. That's gonna be hard to cut up the flowers, but I know it's gonna create really unique bars in the end. So we'll come back and get all that done after this quick commercial break. Oh my gosh, y'all, this fragrance smells so good. I know this looks a little simpler than the soaps I normally make, but that's just another reason I only made one batch of it. So let me line this up. Cut, cut, cut. I know, all the flowers are getting chopped. It's still a little sad, even to me. Just pull one of these out of the middle. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So you've got the black charcoal layer, the two-toned green, and on top, 
all of those poppies. And let me tell you, I used a little sliver of this in my sink today and it was so bubbly. That coconut milk has a lot of sugar in it and sugar in your cold processed soap makes for some really awesome bubbles. Ooh, this is a great bar right here. The question of the day is, have you seen poppies growing in the wild? You know, maybe in the woods near your house or something like that? I have not. I think it's just because of where I live. So to vote on the question of the day, all you have to do is click the eye in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today video. If you like the soap and you like the way it looks, be sure to give this a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, follow us on TikTok, find us on Instagram. We're all over the place. All you have to do is type in royalty soaps on basically any social media platform and we will pop up. If you have any other flowers you'd like to see me pipe, let me know. I thought about doing a blue bonnet, but I don't know if that's too specific to Texas. It's a type of lupine and people really like lupines, but I don't want to just be like, like, hey y'all, I know I'm from Texas and that most of y'all are not, but here we go. <laughs> if y'all aren't interested in that sort of a thing, so let me know down below if there's other flowers you think I should, you know, try my hand at soap frosting for. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today. I don't know, like going out on a little walk if you're still allowed to do that. <laughs> or maybe creating a bucket list of things you would like to do. Either way, do something that makes you happy today. And I will see you all in the next video, which is probably the most requested design accumulatively I have ever received. And I will see you guys in the next video, which is the video I do believe is the most highly requested one ever. Everyone wants me to make this soap. I finally did it. It may or may not have to do with little potted plants that anyone can grow. <laughs> See you guys then, guys. See you guys then, guys? Who says? <laughs> like, I can really use that an excuse. Like, I wasn't already crazy beforehand. You guys know me too well. I cannot hide. I will see you all soon. So until then, bye for now. Psh.